each country was a different culture. You know, each one had their different strengths and weaknesses, you know. And when I was in Slovenia, the hunger for knowledge was awesome, you know, especially in the youth. I saw so many people that just wanted to learn and to know more about the world and learning more about, like, history. And so it made them really curious as to why we were there. You know, and it was really fun because even though I got to, I, I mean, I repeated the same story 80 different times, and well, probably more than that, but like, they were really open to hearing about whys and, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, you know, I felt in Slovenia as well, they were very, like, well, I guess everybody in the Balkans, I guess you could say. I, I've told this to a million people. You know, as Americans, sometimes we're like peaches. You know, like we're very much, you know, we're, we're very soft. We're very like, oh, hi, like everything is great. Everything's awesome. But sometimes our hearts are hard, you know. So it's like you can get through that first little part and then all of a sudden you hit like this hard spot where it's just a little bit harder to like be like, completely accepted into someone's life without a lot of work, you know. But over there, they're kind of like watermelons, you know, where they're very hard on the outside, but as soon as you get through that hard shell, like, you're just right on through, you know. Like, they, you are in their lives for good or for bad, you know. It's like either they accept you as someone that they will love and cherish for the rest of their lives, or if they don't like you, they will tell you, you know. It's very, it's very much, like, there's no fluff to their personalities. And I love that because it was honest. And so I never walked out of the house thinking like, all these people are going to be fake to me today. You know, it's like, <laughs> I knew how they were feeling. And those times that like we could show our sincerity and they let us in, man, like there were just memories and people that like will be in my heart forever as well. You know, and that kind of is in when I went to Serbia you know, the people there, they've, the, the culture from Slovenia to Serbia kind of changed economically, you know, their hardships, even though people in Slovenia were still struggling financially, like it just, I saw it so much more, like the poverty, you know, I went from 2 million people in the country to 3 million people in one city, you know, and just like the, the amount of people that were around, there was always someone to be talking to, you know, there was, Oh man, it's just like walking the streets again in my brain. It's amazing. Um, you know, they just, they were very, like I said, very sincere about how they felt and like not always wanting to know what I had to say because I was a bubbly American, you know? And so that's when member missionary work became very important there. Um, you know, they, they're so stalwart. And I could say that about the members there all day long. Like, the youth in Serbia really blew my mind when it came to their strength. And the members that have been there for so long, and even the new ones with their testimonies, like, they are willing, you know, because like I said, when they know something and they're convinced of something, they stand by it, you know. And that's something that a lot of people that I meet here, like, they're like, can kind of be molded. But when they're convinced of something in Serbia, they mean it and they go for it. And so they're bold. But that means the opposition is that much stronger, you know. And so it's it's hard for the members there uh, to, you know, to, like, hear what their neighbors have to say and, like, all these different things. But, like, I just I can't. I can't say enough just how strong they are, you know. And they continue to surprise me all the time as I keep in contact with them. Um, and then as soon as I went to Bosnia, you know, the poverty kind of increased again, you know, this, I was in a really small town, but it was part of the Republic of Serbia. So Bonnie Luka, um, even though it was in Bosnia, it was the Republic of Serbia. So they still use Cyr the Cyrillic alphabet and spoke Serbian. And so I didn't really change much, like going over there. I had to throw in J's into the language is a little bit more Croatian. Um, the, the thing is though, is like everyone there was so humble, you know, we, we struggled a lot with, you know, cause we wanted to give, you know, but if what you gave was, you know, if it, 
if it was substance versus spiritual upliftment, there it was it was hard for them to separate the church from being a, a spiritual goal versus somebody that's taking care of me in my life. You know, the so we had to be very careful with how we, you know, how we fed people that were interested in the church or how we like, you know, like we did care for them. We had to focus more on like their spiritual growth versus just being like, wait, you haven't eaten? Like here, like here's food. Like, you know, that type of, it it goes back to like, you know, what Christ taught us to, you know, teach a man to fish and he'll eat the rest of his life, you know, instead of just like catching the fish for them. And that was really hard for me, you know, just to have to say no, you know, to, to asking for like, wait, you're a church, like we need money, like, you know, that type of thing. And explaining that like the church is, is sustained by its members, you know, and heavenly father has promised you that if you are there to build his church and to follow his gospel, that he will in return bless you. You know, it was, it's a hard concept, you know, to just be strong like that, but the way that, like, I got to view the people there, just, it really did, like, change my life, you know, and not in the sense that, like, it was a good experience, but as in, like, I really did come to love, like, who they were, and that's just, I don't know, it was the best part, like, just getting to know people, so, um, it was a really long explanation, but... (laughs) Ha, ha, ha.